Alrighty, good morning guys. I've been up for a while. It's 2 o'clock, a little past 2 o'clock. Got up at like, I don't know, like 10? Yeah. I'm gonna move the tent from uh, there to over here in the shade and it'll be closer to the house and I think this is a better spot for it. I actually wanted to buy a, a hammock. Uh, they're pretty cheap. Uh, I found one for 20 bucks online that's uh, got great reviews. Uh, actually 25 bucks um, but still uh, you know I just think it'd be cool to have one and they said ideally you want trees that are 10 to 15 feet apart or that they can be closer or further um, I don't know how far apart these two trees are and then there's these two I'd probably do it on these two plenty of shade here obviously um, I'll probably measure I don't know it looks like 15 feet to me I don't know uh, but I think, you know, it'd work. Uh, I also want to get, a, a, you know, like one of those above ground pools, but of course Ralph's too lame to let me do that and says I can, you know, go to the pool at the, at the uh, athletic club or something like that. I mean, yeah, it can, or, you know, or I could do both. Um, he never thought of that one, did he? Um, you know, but and um, as far as uh, going to JB's again, uh, I don't plan on going to JB's again until I get a car. Uh, so if anyone from JB's is watching this, if you don't see me, that is why. Um, because, you know, like uh, yesterday I wanted to go to Panera Bread, right? He said we were going to go. And then he says it's out of the way. It was literally maybe less than half a mile out of the way. And it wasn't even out of the way on the way home. It was out of the way to the direction that he wanted to go, uh, which I know is stupid. I know. I agree with you. Hope you guys agree with me. Um, and it's just ridiculous. So, uh, you know, uh, Panera Bread's four and a half miles from here, so I could bike there. Or, you know, but, you know, like I said, I don't plan on going to JB's again. That's, uh, in case he doesn't know, there's, there's other restaurants besides that. Um, and their menu is all right, but I prefer a variety of food. And, you know, he thinks uh, I talk about food all day. Well, uh, no, I plan ahead, deciding on where I want to eat next, and, you know, plan accordingly, and, you know, I eat every day just like everyone else. Um, he doesn't know the first thing about working out or bodybuilding. He thinks you just got to eat less in order to lose weight, which is true, but I don't want to just lose weight. I want to build muscle, and to do that, you got to eat more calories, healthy calories, yes, and that's what I want to do and you know get a gym membership and all that stuff and then he can say what he wants along with everyone else but I'll be doing my thing living my life he can live his however he wants to you know and uh, that's that I mean not really much else to say um, anyways I'm about to go get some uh, lunch uh, probably oh he just got back from guess where JB's uh, I'm gonna go probably get grilled chicken sandwich and uh, it's pretty good and move that tent over here in this general area and I'm probably not gonna buy the pool obviously I mean oh well right uh, but I will be buying the hammock and uh, these two trees are probably the best area to put it uh, I'm thinking because those two trees are too far apart over there and I don't really want it in front of the shed and yeah those too far apart so uh, yeah guys that's what's going to be happening today. Uh, tomorrow is uh, Sunday, so no Walking Dead, unfortunately, I know. Uh, but they are starting filming for season eight on May 1st, which is Monday. So that'll be great. Uh, you know, I've been reading the comics and all that. So, uh, Anyways, guys, let's uh, get on with the day. And also, I already got my refund for the tent, the smaller one, because uh, I messaged them and about how the tent, I couldn't roll it up, you know, to get it back in the box uh, tight enough, and they said, since I'm, you know, a valued customer and all that, they just gave me the refund, I don't have to return it, which is really nice, uh, so, might even sew that piece back on, and pretty simple to move the tent, just took off all nine stakes out of the ground there, and just gotta pick it up, move it over here, alright guys, I think that's a great spot for the tent, great thing about that spot is, it's in the shade, or for right now, in the afternoon, and then, since it's facing east, that way, the sun will come up and uh, warm it up in the morning when it's a little chilly. Anyways, I think it looks pretty good. Don't know when I'll buy that hammock, but I uh, just think it'd be a pretty cool thing to have here. Alrighty, 
guys just got back. Feeling pretty good. Easy bike ride. I need to do another cardio workout today. So probably gonna do that about 6.30. Sun goes down a little after seven now. Alrighty guys, so since I put the tent in the shade, it's 81 degrees now. It got up to 122 in the tent when it was in the sun. Last night it got down to 59. I wasn't cold at all. Um, 59 is not bad and you got blankets inside a tent. But uh, yeah, 81 is definitely better than 122. What would also be nice, and I know some tents do have these, is like a small like place right outside the door here to put your shoes so you can take your shoes off before you get in. Um, just makes it a little easier. But uh, you know, no no biggie. I can always even put a police mat or you know like a doormat. But I'm not gonna do that. And the reason I was thinking about getting a hammock, hammock, whatever I think you say hammock, uh, just because you know it'd be cool to have and. Just come out here, relax, lay on it. Um, you know, it's, it's like an open tent, pretty much. You just attach it to the, the two trees there. I'm gonna have to measure the distance and the trees. So the reason I think a, a pool would just be fantastic out here, besides, you know, the fact that it's Arizona and it gets to 115 degrees in the summertime. Um, you know, when I get back from my runs, I can just jump in the pool, cool off real quick, you know and jump in the pool for 10 minutes or so and uh you know i'd obviously keep the pool in the shade um the above ground pool i was looking at a few of them on amazon they um come with a filter a pump so that's nice and uh yeah they, i would even buy a cover for it so when i'm not using it you know put the cover on it all right you guys just put up uh just refilled the hummingbird feeder here and uh Ralph, uh, I showed him the uh, 32 ounce hummingbird feeder. That's like, I don't know, what is that, like 12 ounces? Maybe more, I don't know. 32 ounce hummingbird feeder, so that's a quart. And it's only like less than 10 bucks, about 10 bucks on Amazon. And, uh, you know, just suggested that he could get that. Also, he said the hammock, I can get the hammock. It wouldn't be a big deal. I'd, I'd put it on these two trees, he said, because the hummingbird feeder's over there. And, you know, um, 25 bucks. And when he mows the lawn, well, he doesn't mow it, but whenever the people he hires mows the lawn, um, they can just mow underneath it. I mean, even with the pool, um, it wouldn't be a big deal because, you you know, unless you move the pool, no one's going to know. Like, you just, mow, you just mow around it. Like, you know, uh, no one's going to see the grass growing taller. And then also right here, you can put an umbrella here. So I was thinking that would be cool to have an umbrella out here. And then also, like, you know, we've got the grill inside the utility room. But then, like... Uh, What's it called? You know, they have like, um, not a bonfire, obviously, but like those fire pits, you know, so they like chill out here at nighttime. And, you know, relatively inexpensive. Like pools that go in the ground are obviously way more expensive because they take, you have to do the whole foundation, all that. These above ground pools are like a tent. You just set them up, fill them up with water, and that's it. All right, you guys, so we're going to La Panada for dinner here. All right, guys, just got back from dinner. La Panada, really good. Uh, so the, uh, the extension cord here, uh, this is a, a orange extension cord it's, uh, plugged into an outlet in the utility room, closest one, well the only one that, with a three prong outlet that's grounded, um, you know, because it won't go into the two prong one, but, uh, so it's 50 feet I believe, so it stretches just to the tent, which is fine, because then I got this, and this uh, green one has three outlets on it, so, um, charge my phone or laptop or, you know, whatever else. Um, and then there is also a yellow extension cord in there, but that thing's like a hundred feet and it's heavy. So th this is fine. Works good. Um, probably gonna, Ralph said I can buy that hammock. So, uh, you know, might do that. There's one that has like a net on it so you can, uh, you know, uh, you know, for bugs and all that. Um, but, uh, yeah, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Uh, it's pretty much it for today. It's, uh almost uh 6 30 right now so um i'm gonna wrap it up and uh call it a day so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow Peace.